Hello everyone and welcome back to Zachary Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know a very repeatedly asked numerical question coming in the CPCB examination, UGC Net Environmental Science examination, any environmental science entrance examination. This numerical is a very frequently asked concept. So this is from the environmental chemistry. We will know very simple steps. And if you know this, you will get the full marks and you can know some concept also in this short video. So without wasting much time, let's start today's video so this question is already done also several times in our youtube in our telegram page so this question is directly taken from the cpcb recruitment which was for the 2022 and which happened on june 2023 18th of june for the scientist view of environmental science the question was this ultimate bod of one gram per liter of glucose is how much so the options were this so it is on your screen no need to repeat so this question we will solve here in this video very simple steps and you should know the concept behind that because this questions concept can also come in the mcq form so let's move on to the next slide to know how to solve these kind of frequently asked concept so you should know what is bod first bod means biochemical oxygen demand or biological oxygen demand so that is the amount of oxygen required to degrade the organic compounds organic pollutant present in any water sample or any sample that is called as bod of that sample or water sample so here the question i have kept it on the right hand top screen you can see here just for the reference and we should know here it is asking about ultimate bod so there is a difference between ultimate bod and normal bod which we will know in the next slide so ultimate bod which is also called denoted as bod and here it will be small u bod small u means ultimate bod so it is the total amount of oxygen required to fully biodegrade the organic pollutants present in a water sample under aerobic condition fully degrade all the organic pollutants in the water sample so hame agar koi water sample milta hai uske andar organic inorganic bahut sare pollutants ho sakte hain aur biochemical oxygen demand jo hai uska matlab ye hai ki kitna oxygen chahiye hame us jo water sample mein jo organic pollutant hai unko degrade karne ke liye aur ultimate biodegradable ka matlab hai ki total complete jitne bhi organic pollutants hai wo water sample mein usko biodegrade karne ke liye next how to solve this numerical first thing is you should know what is this equation so this is asking about the ultimate bod means oxidation here bo stands for oxidation oxidation mean addition of oxygen we all know since our class 12th here oxidation of glucose we have to write it down this equation you should write down very simple glucose formula is also given you should know that it is not given sometime here in this question it is not given but you should know very simple things glucose c6 h12o6 when it is oxidized that means when oxygen reacts with the glucose what happens carbon dioxide and water is released this is a typical oxidation reaction here first we should write the equation and then we should balance the equation balance means number of each atom should have same number same number of atoms on both lhs and rhs means left hand side and right hand side of the equation so here as you can see here carbon is having six but here in rhs it is only c is one so here it is not balanced similarly in case of oxygen if you see here oxygen here it is six plus two that is eight oxygen but here here you can see in right hand side it is oxygen is two and oxygen from water if you take one atom it will be 3 so 3 and 8 it is also not balanced similarly for hydrogen also if you see here it is 12 and here it is 2 so we have to balance that and i know most of you will be knowing how to balance this equation i will tell you here is that you should add 6 here and you should add 6 here also so i'll clear this and make it little bit more clear for you people so little bit less size i will take this thing yeah so here 6 we will add here 6 we will add here and now what the equation becomes is yes both lhs and rhs are equal how 6 carbon here also 6 carbon 
hydrogen is 2 already 6 multiplied then it will be 12 so here h12 is there oxygen atom how many oxygen 6 plus 2 8 and here how many oxygen it is 6 multiplied by 2 12 and then again 6 that is 18 oxygen on right hand side so to balance that we have to put one more 6 here also yes here let me clear that and the final balance will be 6 6 6 yes hat trick success so here what happens is 6 multiplied by 2 it will be 12 plus here oxygen 6 that means 18 on lhs left hand side here also 18 how 6 multiplied by 2 12 and here 6 multiplied by 1 only that is also 6 so 12 plus 6 18 here 6 plus 12 18 i hope you understood this thing now what we will do is that molecular weight of glucose we have to find that in order to find this answer molecular weight means there are atoms here carbon hydrogen and oxygen to find how much weight is that of glucose we have to multiply each atomic weight yes you should know carbon's atomic weight is 12 so 12 multiplied by 6 because c6 hydrogen atomic weight is 1 multiplied by 12 because h12 oxygen's atomic weight is how much 16 and 6 atoms are there so multiplied by 6 so 6 multiplied by 12 12 multiplied by 1 6 multiplied by 16 we will add together and it will give the value as 180 gram per mole which is the molecular weight of the glucose similarly next step step 3 is mass of oxygen consumed per molecule of glucose this step we already did yes how we should know 6 moles of oxygen is required because when we balance this thing this equation here 6 moles of oxygen were required in order to oxidize the glucose to form the balanced equation 6 moles of O2 not O yes you should be careful here O means having the atomic weight of 16 we knew here 16 multiplied by 2 is molecule that is oxygen O2 if O is there only single atom if O2 is there it is oxygen molecule so 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 multiplied by 6 because we need 6 moles of oxygen for this equation so 6 multiplied by 32 will give 192 gram oxygen it is consumed per mole of glucose to be oxidized now finally ultimate BOD formula we will tell that is the mass of oxygen consumed per mole of that substance here it is glucose divided by the molecular weight of that substance that we have calculated 180 gram so 192 by 180 is what ultimate BOD that is what actually number of moles of oxygen required that mass their total mass we need not the moles divided by the molecular weight of that compound given here in the question it was given glucose and we found out the molecular weight by multiplying simply with the atomic weight of each individual atom so when we will divide this we will get this value 1.0667 gram oxygen per gram of glucose is required that is the pod ultimate and here in the option c 1.067 is given so we will hit that and we will get the full marks now for you there is one more tip here that is we have made a table here difference between normal BOD and ultimate BOD normal BOD is also called as BOD 5 why it is 5 it stands for biochemical oxygen demand we all know and this stands for ultimate biochemical oxygen demand time duration is the main difference BOD 5 means usually after 5 days we will take the measurement of this analysis but in case of ultimate BOD, it is theoretical, it is infinite time, we are not doing an experiment. Experiment is done in the case of BOD5, but ultimate BOD is a theoretical value, which we found out in the previous slide for glucose. Next is, it represents, BOD5 represents partial decomposition, not complete decomposition of the organic matter present in the water or any sample. But here in ultimate BOD, ultimate goal, that means complete goal, completely decompose the organic matter present in the wastewater. Next, usage is, it is practical water quality test we use with the help of BOD5 and theoretical oxygen demand we find out with the ultimate BOD. Now, question is on your screen, which is the homework for you. You have to find the answer and comment in the comment section. Next video, we will announce the name of the correct answer those will give. The question is, Calculate the ultimate BOD of a wastewater sample containing 1 gram per liter of ethanol. Here it is not glucose. Ethanol formula is also given for your convenience. And options are here. So ethanol formula C2H5OH. 
सो यूजली फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द अल्टीमेट बी ओ दी द फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ द सैम्पल्स विल हैव कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन समटाइम्स इट मे गिव नाइट्रोजन बट इट इज रेयर जस्ट रिमेंबर नाइट्रोजन एटोमिक वेट इज फोर्टीन हाइड्रोजन इज वन कार्बन इज ट्वेल्व ऑक्सीजन इज सिक्सटीन दीज थिंग्स इफ यू रिमेंबर यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व एनी बी ओ डी अल्टीमेट क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी एंड यू विल गेट द फुल मार्क्स सो दिस वॉज द थिंग विच वी वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू थ्रू दिस वीडियो I hope you learned something new. If you haven't learned something new, you revise the things and you are more confident towards the examination. So all the very best for the examination. Don't forget to subscribe the channel Zaclit and you can enroll for our Zaclit mock test which is going on for the UGC NET June 2025 session. All the description, all the things are given in this video. You can check it out. See you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.